combination of loot crate and then we're gonna play some video games today. So first things first, we're gonna open the invaders crate. Um not seeing my trusty knife though. Do I have any sharp objects around me? I've got something. Alright. So. Let's get this invader's crate open. So, of course, first things first is the Alien Artist Series. I probably should get that sharp object with me. I still don't know how I feel about the Artist Series of items. I mean, like this one looks a little cheap just by the picture. Thumb as he walks his little face hugger. Anyway, and now, unlike the other artist series, this one strictly a stand. It's normally a stand and a backdrop, but I guess not this time. The holes in it don't line up. It's all cheap and hmm. I'm gonna give that one a C. I know normal people do a number eighty, I'm going letters. That's a C. I'm not too enthused on that one. What else we got? Ooh, the shirt. I actually do. I mean, I've seen the shirt. Somebody else I know has their crate already. And they were wearing the shirt. And I really do like the Venom shirt. That, I'll give them an A plus on the shirt. I, I always like... Well, okay. 9% of the time I like their shirts. Really wish they'd just do a shirt crate. Now, yes, I know. There's loot where you can get the shirts through that. But come on, you could just give me a crate with all the shirts that y'all do. Alright. Um, I think this is a bandana. Does it... It says Predator Bandana. Is it supposed to have a Predator logo in it somewhere? Otherwise, it's just a camo bandana that be saved from Predator. See? 
I don't know, maybe a D. Low C. I definitely like the figurine more than I do that. And the X Files item. I think it's a journal. little journal I wonder if all these loot crate exclusives I wonder if it's because they make them all and you know somebody just sitting in there at their warehouse prints an X-Files item on a piece of paper and folds everything cause, uh, shoot I'm starting to like that figurine more and more That figurine is looking better and better. Oh, the pen's cool. Little face hugger. I mean, yeah. A lot better than the figurine. We'll say a B. Alright, so. Let's look at the pamphlet. So yeah, it's a Venom t-shirt. Um, oh, I was just reading. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry I went super silent on the um part. So no image of what the Mega Crate is. It just says... This month, uh, two lucky winners will win the Mega Crate, including a home screening of the Predator uh, and an exclusive Predator mask. I want to see these people who win. Cause I've never seen anybody win the Mega Crate or anything. It's starting to seem like a dream. And I think the box is supposed to flip out. I'm not doing it, but I'll show you the inside of the box and you can pretty much get that it's an alien container so shell see. I'm not keeping the box. I don't have space for this kind of junk. But yeah. There's the list, there are all the fun exclusives. Hardcover journal is what they're calling this. Hold up. A hardcover journal. That is cardstock. Not a hardcover journal. Shit. Loot, you're losing me. You're losing me. Um, Predator jungle camo bandana. I could have easily bought the fabric at some fabric shop and made a bandana. Well, nice try, loot. Um, I'm really hoping your DX crate's a lot better than this. Because, I mean, your shirt's cool. Shirt's my, shirt make me, makes me glad I paid 20 bucks. Whatever, 20, 25 bucks. Maybe the shirt was worth it, worth 20. Uh, this, I'd give a quarter for. Uh, the loot pin, I'd probably give two bucks for that. Uh, the figurine. I'd give five bucks for it, but it's probably worth ten, maybe fifteen. And I'd give two bucks for that bandana. Because, again, it's not anything special. Am I camera in focus? Huh, I just noticed that. I'm sorry, guys. Well, that's enough unboxing these crates. 
Let's get to some games, shall we? All right, Luke Crate. Till next time. Hopefully your DX crate's better. All right. I'll switch over here. Um, I think the game we're gonna play today, guys, is gonna be Fable. I'm just not too 100% on how the camera's gonna look on it. I haven't tried it yet. Tried to stream it yet. But we're gonna do some old school gaming. Just cause none of my friends are on, so I don't feel like playing Rocket League or anything right now. Probably gonna have to play with the video settings, guys. I mean, my screen and graphics card automatically adjusted for my screen. So. But. So for now, y'all gonna deal with that. Probably looks all stretched out. So, to catch y'all up from what I've been doing, I mean, I literally just started, like, sometime last week, maybe played all 10 minutes of it, and all I've done is gone around and done a few side quests. Oh. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. 
but in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her... this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. I don't think we're going to. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. What are you up to today? I'm not chasing chickens, that's what I'm up to. Many lovely things! With some woman, I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Wait till I get my hands on that pig! Thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. My cousin 
Simon says that the barrel's in here. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. You're just gonna stand there like a lemon? But being good is so boring. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? Come on, there's still time before he gets back. Oh, you're no fun at all. Just a little flop. Well, you get me in trouble. Fine. Have your stupid good deed then. I will have my stupid good deed. Excellent. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favor. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Good. All right, let's see what else. Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. Why are you playing with baby toys and little girls? Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Brother, I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. Okay. Oh, you're a good fellow. Oh, I wonder. <gasps> you found Rosie. Thank you so much. Come on, Rosie. Let's change your stuffing. What a darling. Hello, lad. Say happy birthday to your sister for me, won't you? Such a small town complex. Everybody, everybody knows the position of the Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader?
Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to fine folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Oh, if only old kids was like him. to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, there's something wrong. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then 
Give me your hand. a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze. And I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. Yep, I must. Oh, it's cuts me anyway. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> Dog, what are you doing? Yeah, you. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! Let's do this. We're discussing whether I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Beat that! Right then, get to the demon door and back and talk to me in 50 seconds. I did it in 50 seconds. No one has beaten that. This is where heroes focus their real powers. Thank you. 
That's amazing! How did you do it? I lost my bet! Ah. That showed you, didn't it? <laughs> I don't know how he did it! I always win guild competitions! Can you be so sure? We might need you here. Who knows what battles we might face? The signs are too strong to ignore, and the northern wastes have been too long isolated from the guild. There is much I may learn there. Well, I hope nobody thinks you're running away from a fight, trying to cheat death again. You know how people talk. Talk is of no matter to me. May death close his eyes to you, Maze. What are you waiting for? Come in. That was Scythe. He was a great hero once, back when he had flesh on his bones and blood in his veins. He's just a shell now. What does he know of the choices we have to make, of what it takes to get things done? No, boy. You're supposed to report to the Guildmaster. You can always find out where he is by looking at... I don't want to go to the Guildmaster yet. I'll continue to roam. Maze lives upstairs. Best stay away, though. He's a scary man. Ah, uh, you can be for the carry yourself there. pie for the guildmaster at the end of the week. But I can't find any more red apples. I if you find enough, can you bring them back here? I will Lad, it's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. <laughs> Not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this.
Give it a good hammering with your stick. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Well done, lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flame... Get out of bed, lazy bones. Oh, I didn't know we were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. Late again? You... You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Come on then. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. How did that get through? Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. 
The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. See if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, oh, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some fan boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children, let's see who has learned the most in their training. This will be a no-holes-barred duel, just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. How did that get... Whisper, you need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance. Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Princes want to practice melee combat? Right, this melee Even combat against Whisper counts. Hey, Marshall's on. <laughs> right, let's get Whisper and you there in the you ring. Go. Same rules as before. I have a special I'm prize for you go. if you manage an A. Hey, ah. 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 Ow! All right, you can stop now. Can that was very impressive. Whisper should be ashamed. It's amazing how much even a pre That great means I can award you a new weapon. Work for. I'm going to have to. I haven't yet. I downloaded You really the showed PDF, Whisper. And it's an official thing that was released by Wizards of the Coast for free. And <laughs> it's like, oh, it gives me the bare bones of, of it. it doesn't really set up, like, it doesn't have, like, encounters or any of that kind of stuff set up. I had to grab my iPad and go through and create it as I read through it. It's like 32 pages. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, it's like 32 pages split into five parts. I didn't even, I didn't even continue to read text messages. Is that what y'all were fully discussing? Is 
Uh, it's basically, since Oscar's not gonna get, be able to DM, since you know he he does, he would have to at his house. He'd have to be able to keep up with two streams while doing while having tabletop simulator up probably so it's like well we could do it's like well I guess I started looking this morning for pre-built modules and found that and found one I found a list of them of actual like free free ones mm -hmm. and uh found one that sounded cool start reading it sounds like it's gonna it'll be fun it's what's it called well i mean they've got tons of pre-done campaigns especially yeah. through D and D themselves yeah this is well D and D is wizards of the coast yeah yeah, that's where we got it. Is anybody re-rolling a character? Yep. Too bad, I refuse. Glacier Steven just magically teleports from one story to another. <laughs> and gets leveled down. Nope, nope. With your sand billies. One. Nope, with sand <laughs> billies. Get smited down to you level didn't, one. Y'all didn't know my character had that ability, did you? I said, fuck <laughs> this shit, I'm out. Be back. He cannot <laughs> change dimensions. Yes. Uh, didn't you roll another character? I was screwing around with another character. Well, so far, George is a human rogue. Let's see. Let's see. I haven't seen Oscars hasn't come through yet. Uh, oh. uh, He's gonna uh, roll another character. Of course, I guess technically he, he could use his other character since he hasn't been used in <laughs> his his campaign. But I know he's supposed to eventually come into play. Characters. But I'm I'm probably gonna build. I'm oh, gonna go through it. And I'm gonna build the main campaign, and then I'll start building branches off to go with something fun. Let's see. Make side quests. Um. Quick build. I kind of like the quick build idea. All right, so let's see. What race do I want to go? Dragonborn. Hey, I'm the DM this time, so you know I'm not Dragonborn. Let's see. My last one was half elf. I go a halfling. Actually, We're gonna have a fucking hobbit. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, a Dragonborn actually might come in handy. I haven't read through, but there's something dragon something. Draconic. <laughs> uh, I gotta look up a name. Hold up. This guy's yeah. really funny. Oh, shit. It's gonna be Mushu. No. Mushu the Dragon Ball.
Do, 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 do. Mm, no, let's not do that. No, no. It's not what I thought it was. Uh, man, I don't know. Streaming loot away. I don't have a name for my dragonborn. <laughs> the dragon with no name. How about that? Nobody. Actually. This his name is nobody. No, let's go to my one drive. Jacques. Uh, not that. Go to files. I don't care. I'm not. No. I'm just just get my files. Bob. Uh, Bob the dragon. Um, huh. Drake. David. Billy Bob. Go get him, Billy Bob. Cornithal. <laughs> Draconius. <laughs> Draconius. Shinron. Shin. Ron. <laughs> Davy. Gordon. Gordon. <laughs> James Ryan. Jimmy Dean. Jamie Dean. Lad. Hey, that's it. We're, we're going biblical. Biblical? Uh-huh. 
Azrael. <laughs> Azazel. Nah, you go Azrael, the angel of destruction. It suits my co my characters anyway. <laughs> Let's see, Azrael, what are you going to be? A barbarian? A bard? I still like the major warlock, bro. Bro? Ranger? Azrael the wizard. <laughs> You're not going to bring back the... Uh... What should I call it? Let's see if I go with Warlock. I can. And still have Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go Warlock. <laughs> As well. I think you get a lot more health that way, too. What's your subclass going to be? Oh, uh, quick created it. So I didn't, you know, actually do anything. So, so like, uh, my defense is lightning. I'm just going through this character now. Ooh, I got a crossbow this time. And a quarter staff. <laughs> Beat you with the stick. Hell yeah, yeah. Breath weapons too. Huh. Yeah, that's what you get for Dragonborn. Depending on what color you are. Blue. Lightning. Yeah, it already tells me lightning defense. That's that's what mine was. That's what I knew. <laughs> that's what Rashnikov is. Which is great because for long distance I can use uh, my crossbow. I didn't really have a long distance last time. I had daggers and some scythe. I got those well, fucking had, daggers. You had <laughs> Eldritch, Eldritch Blast. blast. <laughs> it's like 120 feet. <laughs> I think it's got a better range than a crossbow. Uh, my crossbow's range is 80 feet, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> See? <laughs> what, what spells I got? Spells. And a crossbow has ammo. <laughs> uh, I, I don't have any spells yet. What? Manage spells. Add spells. Eldritch Blast! Is that gonna be my only. Do I only have one spell? I can learn, let's see. I think you get more than one, don't you? I don't know. Um. Kinda. I had magic stone last time, and I don't think I want those. Yeah, that one's kind of uh, very. <laughs> nope, no magic hands. Of course, mine will probably have more puzzles and stuff. 
Oscar Oscar was like, oh, here's this impassable object where you have to pull a switch at the end of the hallway. I can still learn some more things, too. So we've got Eldritch Blast, Thunderclap. Um, what was Unseen Serving? I think uh, I like that last time. That's a hour-long thing, or you can have a servant that can attack and whatnot. Yeah, no. Find familiars, what I had. I think we'll uh, use proper hand language that way if we come across anybody that doesn't, you know, speak <laughs> anything that anybody knows, my guy can, you know, try to magically learn it. <laughs> or understand. Oh, I've gotten to see better pictures of the Johnny Walker, White Walker. Uh huh. And the Johnny Walker is it has like the ice horns under the under the hat yeah and blue eyes i know ign just posted something about it this morning <laughs> and i was like man y'all bitches a day late and a dollar short i've been looking for that for a week but did you see the one well yeah you saw the one that i tagged you in yeah that there's a whole series of scotches that are Coming out that are Game of Thrones th themed. But yeah, evidently, from what I was seeing on the tribe, someone said that the White Walker is actually better chilled. They said it doesn't taste very good. <laughs> It takes, it takes out a, a lot of the nuances. Whenever it's chilled, and it's a good thing, so it's like ah. Oh. Hmm. So evidently, it's not a amazing whiskey. It's okay. So there. Eldritch Blast is back. We got uh, Thunderclap. <laughs> Like George. Um, burning hands. And, uh, of course, you hammer. gotta have that. Yeah. I mean, you know, I gotta be able to light shit on fire. Uh, I wouldn't be as real. Yeah, that, well, that's what I'm scared of. <laughs> Everything burns! What's this thing called again? Let me try to find that. Shadows over the moon sea. So, pretty sure I haven't I haven't read through it all, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up on ships at some point. So, have fun with that. <laughs> Steven's gonna go and let. <laughs> Steven's gonna go a la Akba on somebody else's ship. Huh. My, my guy and just gets bored it and down. Know, starts using his burning hands and lightning breath. And... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Call y'all bitches. Ah! <laughs> Grabs the side of the boat, lights it on fire, and then just ah! <laughs> Goes down to the battlements, loads every cannon, cannon on, the, on one side, uses the lightning breath, and sets them all off. 
That's an awesome visual. <laughs> Absolutely decimated ship. Walk out. Who's next? Uh, the it. only problem with light is with your breath attack is one per day. Yeah, I, I read that. Or long, long. Yeah, at least you, until a long you, rest. You have to have a long rest. Yeah. So breath attack is final. You know, we all fucked. Yeah, basically. God, let's hope. <laughs> Let's see, my dexterity is a plus one, it's sitting at a 13. Yeah. I really wish there was an easier way to, you know, share this. I still have a screen shot. But now for long range, I mean, I don't have to use Eldritch Blast. I can be somewhat sneaky and have my crossbow. Yeah, which that actually could help. I like I said, I haven't read the whole thing, so I don't know what what kind of stuff there will be throughout the campaign. But I'll probably try to put some kind of. I'm, I'm gonna miss my uh, scythe, but that's fine. I got a quarter staff off. I can pull it out and, you know, if I'm in a five foot range, whack you upside the head. <laughs> oh, speaking of quarter staffs, I finally watched the second Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. The original? No, the new oh. one with Stephen Amell as Casey Jones. The okay. I mean, it, it, it's, it's designed horrible, for kids, but... so I get it. Mm. The thing is, I think the worst part about the second movie, like I think the first one is actually somewhat. I can't even, no, I can't say the first one is stronger. The first one is pretty bad because the main characters were hardly in it. This one definitely works to correct that a bit. This one had less Megan Fox and more turtles. Yeah. Which is what it needed. Yeah, but it didn't have enough Casey Jones. <laughs> oh, shit. Didn't have enough of him in there. Like, a lot of places where you could have had a, Casey, a good Casey Jones part. Is a Megan Fox part. It was like, uh. I think Steven Amell did. It was, it was a good choice for Casey Jones. He's believable. He's got the. <laughs> he's Steven he's Amell. built like he needs to be. Yeah. Well, that's you know, that's only because it's of fucking like, uh. Yeah. Arrow. <laughs> it's not like he has anything else. I that mean, he he was doing that caused him to be as built as he is. Boom. He's a cat alone. What did but, I uh, do with it? But you? I think by far the weakest part of the movie <laughs> was the villains. Because and it's not that they didn't have cool villains. It was that they just shoehorned in. Too, they put too many. You know? Because mm -hmm. you had... Like, I would have been fine with it being... Shredder gets back out. And meets Krang. Gets the, the serum... And creates Bebop and Rocksteady. And then Bebop and Rocksteady are the main villains. And then 
a tease to Krang coming back and, co- and coming at the end of the movie. You know? Because then you could have focused on Bebop and Rocksteady. Which most of the movie does. But then it's like, oh, they got the stuff and Krang's coming and then they beat Krang in two minutes. Krang should have had his own movie. Don't you think? Yeah. <clears throat> well, he's supposed to be like this big badass. And then like... What the fuck? They, t- they dispatch Krang faster than they take care of Bebop and Rocksteady. You know? And there wasn't even like any kind of after credit scene showing what the fuck happened to Shredder. Because they freeze him and put him down in the ship and it's like, what are all the other villains in there? Could have something, teach something. Nope. So, like, overall it was, it was a movie. <laughs> It wasn't. Is it's at that line where it's like it's not a bad movie, but it's not a good movie. I would say that the first one leans towards it being bad, but it's still at that. It's still kind of at that line, but it's leaning towards it being a bad movie. Because it was Megan, it was it was April O'Neil, the movie. And, yeah, she's not the coolest character in the movie. They did improve on Michelangelo though. Because he's not, like, super rapey. That was what was super off-putting. Anytime you had April and Michelangelo in the same scene, it was just... Ugh. 